are a big story we've been tracking for the past few weeks, oh, actually. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that debt limit, the, the deadline just approaching fast. I mean, it's on Monday, but thankfully a deal to raise the new debt, or debt ceiling is now sitting on President Joe Biden's desk. Well, only hours ago, that measure passed mm -hmm. through the Senate. Having passed through the House earlier this week, it was kind of a turbulent and scary <laughs> time was. for all of us. Well, ABC's Justin Finch has the latest. With only days to spare, the Biden-McCarthy debt ceiling deal cleared the Senate. The yeas are 63, the nays are 36, the 60-vote threshold having been achieved, the bill is passed. The upper chamber passing the compromise legislation after racing through a series of amendment votes and incoming fire from some senators on the right and left. The people who negotiated this, I wouldn't let them buy me a car. This debt ceiling agreement will cut programs for some of the most vulnerable people in America. In a statement, President Biden thanks Senate leaders for quickly passing the bill and adding no one gets everything they want in a negotiation and calling the bipartisan agreement a big win for our economy and the American people. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer hailing Democrats for pushing the package through Congress. We did a very good job of taking the worst parts of the Republican plan that would have hurt so many families, and we took those worst parts off the table. Senate Republicans winning guarantees the chamber will also consider future national security and defense spending increases, including aid for Ukraine. We cannot, cannot neglect our fundamental obligation to address the nation's most pressing national security challenges. The deal, brokered by the president and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, suspends the debt ceiling until January 2025, pulls back billions in COVID and IRS funding, and preserves programs including Social Security and veterans' benefits. Congress managed to pass the deal before June 5th when Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen warned the U.S. could default and potentially trigger an economic crash. The president now set to sign the bill soon and address the nation tonight. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.